Whew. Jesus Christ, man. Finally did it. And what a finish that was, man. What a finish. Alright, we managed we managed to do it. Nice. Mesmer solo. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. I'm Uncle Lander. This is uh, Elden Ring. My first playthrough of the Shadow of the Orchard DLC. Um my character level 282, 60 vigor, 30 mind, 60 endurance, um 80 strength, 25 dexterity, 16 intelligence, 85 and 10 arcane. And we just beat Mesmer. And the last episode we tried to beat Mesmer so many times and he went through the entire library. Holy smokes. And we have done it solo. And we have done it solo, man. Oh, that was so difficult. So difficult. Oh, but I'm glad that I managed to finally freaking beat it. Um, how do I review this boss fight? It's cool to do it alone. It really feels cool to do it alone. Um, summon. I know that the summoning the uh, Forsent uh, or Horsent, I think his name is Horsent. Uh, Horsent kind of continues his quest. If you don't summon him, it kind of botches botch it up, which, quite frankly, I do not really care about the, the Horsent because, according to what my character path have taken, uh, Horsent wants to like destroy all the signs of divinity, and I pick the divinity. So. I naturally, I don't really want to be with that guy or talk with that guy. That's Horsent. What cruelty is this? Who would rob me of my one vital purpose? Am I so feeble, witless, dull of blade, that vengeance was never to have been mine? But why vengeance? For what? What exactly do you want a vengeance for? Oh, mother. Oh, most cherished wife and child it seems vengeance was not mine to enact where now should i point my tired blade but you wanted to eliminate the divines the divine power the marika and all of that and now you and now you are praying to the statue of marika and michaela where now should i point I think there must be something more to this guy than I that I that I know. This is what this is why I would again. This is why I would like to have an option to repeat the boss fight, to maybe figure out a different path. But anyway, what is my what my thing about the mesmer? Um, like I said, way too easy of a fight if you want to summon other people. Very difficult fight on fight on your own. Not undoable. It's very, in a matter of fact, I believe it's quite doable. You can definitely do it alone. I mean, I'm I'm definitely the, um, the example. I'm proving the fact that you can do this alone. Um, but you you are gonna struggle because his move set requires like perfect timing on the dodges, at pretty much all the time. If you allow him to perform three attacks in a row, he's just gonna execute. He's just gonna absolutely destroy you. It's not unbeatable boss fight to do solo. It's a pretty good boss fight to do solo. I think he still has nothing on Ranala. I still wish I could beat Ranala on my own. Um, he's all right. I'm happy that I managed to beat him. But there is some weird, weird, weird things about this guy. Like some real weird, like certain hitboxes just being awkward um sometimes the initial explosion that he does against you is just sometimes it, the second dot just kicks in sometimes it doesn't at all so it's kind of difficult to figure out what you can really do what you cannot Right, we're gonna go with this. 
We got 1400. Oh, yeah, yeah. I still need to uh, allocate the flasks. Hmm. Also, I need to apply the memorize spell. Uh, yeah, I can remove this because now I just need heals. I just need that's Lord's heal. Urgent heal. That's a small. Earth is 42. Lord's is 20. Massively deals HP for yourself and allies. I wouldn't really call it massively. I really wouldn't. That's a blessing. That's a blessing that I'm using. Fifty-five, sixty-five. Uh. And this, yeah. Double health restoration. Well, I don't really like Porcin regardless, so it doesn't really change anything. What I want to do now. Oh yeah, this episode, like every single other, is being recorded live during my live streams on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Uncle Lander. Come and say hi, I play a variety of video games. So they're in charity events, general marathons, one of the place most occasional challenge runs, the more in the future. Um what bothers me is that this guy told me there's the underground. I don't know where the underground is. I just I just don't know. Um, I think it was the Church of the Crusade. No, no, no. One one thing at a time. Um, I want to talk with Redmond Freya. Maybe Redmond Freya will have something to tell me. Because Forsyth is clearly like he is just guided by the sense of revenge like he wants the revenge at any freaking cost and i don't really think that's a good idea but then then again he contradicts like he he was worshiping he was praying to her as into marika even though we, if he worships to Michaela, it's him so I don't know what, what are his motivations. I think this guy just have basically lost his marbles. That's what I think. I kind of hope I'm right. Uh, yeah, fire. And bring me the skill damage. Yes. I'm afraid I'm busy. Truly. I... I'm afraid truly. Yeah, she has nothing to say. Right, so let's look for the other NPCs that I could talk to. Let's let's see let's see if Leda is the same place. Yeah, there she is. Ah, oh, there you are. It took me long enough, I know. But I've made my decision. I'm going to leave the horn sent to his own devices. With Would the you? object of his vengeance gone, his blade has grown dull. In that state, I don't imagine he will ever fight again. I needn't bother with him. Lest, of course, another target for his retribution should appear. Why do you want to kill all the targets for the retribution? I know I shouldn't let myself, but I suppose it's only natural to feel the weight of one's deeds at times like these. There's plenty left to be done. And I will see to it. Who else? I wonder. I don't enjoy casting suspicion on anyone I've called a comrade. But it's a small sacrifice in the grand scheme of things. We must eradicate all doubt. That's a little psychotic. Who else? I, I don't enjoy, but it's a small sacrifice. That's a little bit of a psychotic approach. Just, you know, just a tiny little bit psychotic. Um, okay, so that's Leda. Uh, Thought Deer would be over here. Where is the other guy? Like, like there was the...
Gegner zu Horn sind. The other guys just kind of disappeared. I gun be by gun. I mean, I gun can stay where he is. Um, let's go for the hold here then. Oh, what's this? Message from Leda. Mm. Message left by Needle Knight Leda addressed the kindred spirits who uh, deigned past on a message. The ceiling tree in the ancient ruins of Rao. It lies beyond the high bridge leading from the first floor of the storehouse. I will join you there once I have finished my the task at hand. Something I wish to tell you. I'm heading south. I've recalled something that Sir Moore said. He discovered deep purple water lilies blooming on the southern shore. That must be where St. Trina was left to wither away. Hmm. I'm very confident in that. Because immediate death of Imbendian by an ordinary human. I'm heading south to the shore, Sir Moore. Okay, so he's setting south. And he's probably gonna spawn somewhere over here later. But I don't see the other NPCs. Maybe they're gonna be in the other section. At least I hope they're gonna be in the other section. This was Duck Chamber, Duck Chamber Entrance. Okay, so where do I want to go now? Mm. I have 400,000 runes. Let's spend those runes. Yeah, 24 of each, and then we're gonna see. Still got 1400. Um, yeah, let's just spend 12 more over here. gonna find something good I'm gonna use it um, I know where I want to get what bothers me is the underground I don't know where the underground for this is like it says go to the underground I have no clue where the underground is it must be somewhere around this area anyway once you go over here it's a needle knight. Yeah, the other guys have disappeared. Um, I kind of want to leave this section for later. I will definitely want to get over here. Is I think that's uh, where the wound, one of the wounded um, creatures were.
Yeah, I'm just gonna have to go around. Ooh, it's a long blade. So there's a huge chance I'm gonna be able to deal a lot of damage to, to the people on the horse. Oh, I am fucking it up. Fucked it up harder. Mm, get right. Was he over here? There's this one specific NPC that I'm looking for. Oh, just a little guy. Maybe he's gonna be on the outside of the church. Let, let me let me try to find it out. Because I have learned why that specific forager, as I call them, uh, did not want to get healed. It's because he cannot get healed with the regular spells. He needs to get healed with a specific item. Yeah, he's still here. That's good. He, this guy needs to get healed with a specific item. And I should have one available. Yeah, warm stones. There we go. Okay, he doesn't want to talk with us, so maybe... Hmm, my character's eyes are red. I'm gonna have to change that. Um, I'm just gonna restart the game. Maybe that's gonna make him talk to me because he's supposed to give me a book. The cookbook. There we go. Forage a brute and shell sunflower. Friend. Okay, let me drop this then. Hmm. I want to get over here. But what was what was the elevator? I think it was here. Shadow Shadow Keep Back Gate, maybe? Maybe. I don't know how to get over there. And I would like to because this is where the um, the amulet for the two-handed weapons is. I'm going to figure it out all in in my own pace. It might be a slower pace, but it's still a pace. Yeah, so hold on. We have this. The actual... Uh, what? In well, I'm definitely not ready for that. I definitely wasn't ready for that. Well, at least we know that there's another boss fight over there to fight. 
So maybe I'm just gonna leave it for now and go this way. I'm gonna explore a little bit. Jumping from boss fight to boss fight is not the greatest idea for me. Yeah, I wanna see what's good over here. Looks like a ginormous field with this fragment and that will lead me over here. So maybe let's explore this entire field over here. This entire thing. And then we, I'm gonna go for... Maybe I'm gonna try to get over there. Sounds like a reasonable idea. He's angry and he's definitely in the pursuit. Hi, bear. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna pass through and uh, not bother you because I only want to like explore, figure out the things of this place. I don't really want to do anything evil. I kind of want to find more caves, more underground areas. Just, just I, I just want to want, I just want to find more. Time no see. Yikes, okay. Okay. Nice damage, bro. Nice damage, dude. Jesus.
is one of you is down. Blessing America. I see a second rider over there. Souls, please. Soul, uh, runes, souls. Why did why why even consider that enemy as a boss fight when it doesn't even give you any war? Like why? What's 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 the actual point of beating a boss fight but not getting any runes as a reward? Like if you consider it as a boss fight, just give me eighty thousand even, but give some kind of a reward. Don't, don't be like this. That is a lame way to handle that. That is a very lame way to handle that. Just give me the Blessing of America and what does it do? Restore, restores my full HP and every single element statuses? Like, that is not a reward. There was there was a statue of Marika somewhere over here. Um Oh there's just so there's so many flowers here I cannot really see it. Okay, I see it in front. Okay, let's go for the second guy. I guess we need to go for a boss fight after boss fight. Ugh. No rest for the wicked, I suppose. Oh, really? Ugh. That's such a lame way to die. Three quarters HP, even blades that have been... Uh, even I apply the blades proc and like, just freaking die like that. Ugh, it's so lame. Oh, well. Yeah, I couldn't do anything. So at this point, it's whatever. Trial and error.
Why is my horse on me? Like for this one, my horse didn't took any healing. That's 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 that's. It's interesting. Yeah, I'm gonna wait for stamina to recover. Cause he just gonna do this. Gone. Yeah, I don't know why the first guy didn't give me any runes. 120,000. I could deal with that. It's good money, regardless. I really like this great katana. I really like this. Like, it's a. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be perfectly fair. It is definitely a single target murderer, but that's the problem. It's a big blade that you could execute a wide range of attacks, like wider attacks, and majority of the time you only do like upper slash poke, which is good for single targets. Hmm. Okay, so we have the bridge over here. Left or right? I'm gonna go left first. Shaman Village? Minor Earth Tree. Secret incantation of Queen Marika. Only the kindness of gold without order. Create small illusionary earth tree that continuously restores HP of near nearby allies. Marika bathed the village of her home in gold, knowing full well that there was no one to heal. Wait a second. Shaman village? Marika returned here. For some reason, he left that tree. So that would also mean that Marika is the shaman. I mean, there's even an audio clue. I don't know if uh, the, the little the little harp, the little harp that's playing in the background. That's this is the harp that you hear when you play the Elden Beast. And as a matter of fact, I believe it's exactly this. It's exactly the one. So 
so Queen Marika must have been here like before the entire Elden Ring situation have happened before the shattering of the ring what a peaceful place isn't it That would also explain why there are double tree sentinels in here. That was their job. They, they, they were to guard this place. It makes a bit more sense now. Uh, is that door accessible? Nah. But it was fun to think that it was. So Marika was a shaman and she left that tree as, as a what? Because you could consider that to be like her final gift goodbye or final or her final goodbye and she just planted that tree over here. The earth tree. That also means, hold on. But then you have to think why shamans got put in the jars. Like, what was the point of that? If Marika was of the shaman kin. Of, of their blood. More or less. There's still more questions about this thing, about this game, about the lore. Probably a lot of these questions are not, never gonna be answered by me. I just need to wait for Vati Vidya to release a video if he didn't already. <laughs> no, in life he already, he already did. I'm pretty sure of it. some big ass bugs imagine having that every summer got him hmm So that leads me all the way over here. I don't really want to go over there now. I, I just simply don't want to go over there now. Oh, you son of a biscuit. Are you going to fly away now that you attack me? Of course you will. The heck are those? Yeah, I don't want to go through here. At least not yet. What I want to do... Maybe let's try that boss fight. That other boss fight. But then again, I have 120,000. Uh, might as well spend that 120,000 and something. I'm going to try to go for that commander once again. 
Um, and the first thing I want to change is my eye color because... Yeah, my, my eyes are freaking bloodshot red. Um, I need to change that. Okay, eyes. Yeah, because now they are bloodshot red. And I don't want that. Cannot be edited at this time. Please set all eye alteration off. Okay, there we go. My eyes are still bloodshot red. Okay, they return to normal. Nice. Let's try to get this boss fight done. My horse is gonna... Hmm... If I'm gonna try to do this on a horse, I would need to do it hitless, because my horse can just cannot get hit by this, during this. So... I guess I need to be constantly on foot. And it seems like fire damage really does good against him, so... I think I'm gonna stick with this build. <laughs> 